and we had, I'd done my teaching stuff and we were going back to our desks to do small groups and I thought, well, I'm going to put the curtain up because it had fallen over the weekend. There were some storms and stuff. So I thought, I'm going to put the curtain back up because they'll be looking out the window and checking everything out, not paying attention. So I went to pick the curtain up and when I did, I kind of caught something out of the corner of my eye moving and then I looked back and it took a minute for it to kind of register that, oh my gosh, that's a snake. And when it did, I was just like, like I gasped and the kids were like, what is it? And I didn't want to really scare them by being like, oh my gosh, it's a snake. But I mean, I, I ended up doing that. And I told them, I said, everybody out of the room, go to the next room, go next door to Miss Lee's room. And I buzzed the office and told them, you know, there's a snake in my room. And of course they were like, what? And I said, there's a snake in my room. Well, I just happened to be uh, coming through the office when Mrs. Graves, one of our first grade teachers, called up to the office and asked for some assistance because she had a snake in her classroom. And um, so our secretary um, called for the maintenance to come and get it. And in the meantime, I said, well, I'm going to head down there and see if there's anything I can do. Um, just because I have a little bit of experience as a park ranger in some of the state parks and I was kind of comfortable around snakes. So I came down to Mrs. Graves' classroom. Here she comes walking in and she's like, so where is it at? And I said, it's over there by the window. It's not real big. And she just walks right over there and she was like, oh yeah, it's a tiny little fella. And she said, I'm going to pick him up. And I was like, are you crazy? Like what? No. What do you know? And so she just bends down and picks it up. And I came in and I just happened to get a little closer and I saw it was a baby, speckled king snake. So I knew it wasn't a venomous snake and I wasn't too worried about it. And so I just told her, all right, Mrs. Graves, I'm going to pick it up, but most likely it's probably going to bite me because it was coiled in such a way that I couldn't really grab it right at the base of its head. And um, she teased me kind of and said, are you serious? Are you really going to grab that snake knowing it's going to bite you? And I said, yeah, because it's not going to really hurt that bad. And I, would, I wanted to make sure I got it instead of trying to scare it and it would slither under a piece of furniture or something and then we wouldn't have been able to get it. So I just reached down and I grabbed it and sure enough, I didn't get it close enough to its head and it, you know, flipped around and latched onto my thumb. And she said, I think he's going to bite me. Yep, he's biting me. And then she just kind of looked at the snake and was all talking to him. Boy, you sure have sharp little teeth for a little fella. And I mean, she was just calm as could be and I was like, you're nuts. And it just kind of wrapped around her arm. And being that I have a background in parks and recreation, I'm kind of an animal lover, so uh, I wanted to make sure the snake wasn't going to get killed, <laughs> which is kind of funny because a lot of people, that's their first reaction. But I know speckled king snakes are great snakes that get you know, a lot of the mice, so I made sure to have the maintenance you know, assure me that they were going to take the snake somewhere far away from school and let it go. So the snake is okay. It is alive and going to grow to be a big snake. So. <laughs>